Now, you're very welcome back to the show. It's spring in the air. It's time to get out into the garden. And who better to get us motivated than Peter Dowdell? Let's go over to the way. The longer days have got people thinking about the garden again, but the biggest pests in the garden are slugs and snails. And here to tell us all about this and how to get rid of them, maybe we have our gardener, Peter Dodder. Peter, how are you, sir? I'm good, I'm uh, good. Thank Very God. exciting time of the year, I find myself. Everything's coming back into growth. Yeah. It's a magical time of the year. This Stretch in the evening, time. everything. Oh, it's just wonderful. But our slug friends. It's not just the plants that are coming back, mm -hmm. so too the slugs and snails. Yeah. They are by far and away, the first thing to say, the most important thing is they are by far and away the most common garden pest we mm -hmm. have, okay? The bad news is that what most people look for to control them is the kind of cheapest, dirtiest slug pellet that they can find in the shop, okay. right? They go in to see slug pellet, good luck, I'll have that, yeah. without knowing really what's inside yeah. them. You don't know what you're putting into the ground and onto the soil, right? Most, and the reason I refer to them as cheap and dirty is because most slug pellets have the active ingredient methaldehyde. Mm. Now, methaldehyde is a form of alcohol and it's, it's banned for sale in many EU countries, including England, no longer an EU mm -hmm. country, but England, uh, Sweden, and a few other countries across Europe don't allow the sale of, of methaldehyde except under license. We can still buy it in our supermarkets, garden centres, everything. Why is it so bad? It will kill the slugs, but if you look at what the natural predators are for the mm -hmm. slugs and snails, it's your larger birds, hedgehogs, things of like that, the methaldehyde within the pellet will also kill them. Okay. They'll kill domestic pets. They'll kill us if we get enough of it. Wh We're scattering it on lettuce leaves in the vegetable garden. Yeah. It's a dangerous, dangerous oh substance, God. and we should we not be using it. We should not be using it, no. Okay. For ourselves, but also for the birds that come in that could actually take the slugs out there and snails out of it as well. Yes, if they, if they, if they eat a, a snail that is got the methaldehyde in it, mm. it'll kill the bird. Okay. And it goes back to, this goes back to basics. If you go back to the days before chemical companies, we had wonderful gardens, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we've, 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 we've lost the plot in many ways that we think we need these products for mm -hmm. successful gardens. We don't, because gardens rely on, more than anything, they rely on the natural balance. Yeah. And we, that there's yes. a feeling that if you get slug pellets, throw them out, that's done with now. Yes. But that's not the best way to go about it. Not always, no. Mm -hmm. But if you look on saying that, as pellets like these, mm -hmm. which, to, which to everybody will look like the, the normal slug mm -hmm. pellet, there's still something you can put out instantly and yeah. get effect instantly, but they have the active ingredient ferric phosphate, mm -hmm. iron phosphate, which actually breaks down as quite a good soil additive, mm -hmm. and that's totally harmless. And it won't harmless. harm anyone? Totally won't harm harmless. Anyone? Okay. Yeah, I could eat that. I'm not going to. Okay. <laughs> but I, you but know, it's could. totally harmless, yeah. yeah. And yeah, that yeah. breaks down into the soil, and that's mm -hmm. fine. To okay, use. so if you're not going to use any of that, what, what, what can you use? Well, you could, if you look at this, mm -hmm. I, you, you, you looked at this earlier, and you said, oh, mm -hmm. is Peter doing the cookery today? No, yeah. the uh, coffee grounds. But coffee grounds will also work. The caffeine in them, they, they won't kill the snails, no, but it acts as a barrier, mm -hmm. right? So the, the, if you put that around your plants, that's just all coffee grounds, you'll that's get awesome. it. I have no doubt free of charge from any mm -hmm. cafe, would be glad yeah. to get rid of it. Put that around your plants. The snails and slugs will, will, will as soon as I get to the caffeine, they'll go they'll elsewhere. Go they'll that's go, it. Yeah, okay. they get out of dodge. Perfect. Now, you don't want to put too much of that in or something like it. it's 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 the chemical the caffeine mm -hmm. that it deters them you you'll actually get chop bought slug deterrents mm -hmm. which are based on caffeine okay. you don't want to be putting too much caffeine in the ground because that's that's for another day but, it, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. what about the eggs eggshells egg eggshells now a lot of people will say oh eggshells will work as a barrier too mm -hmm. Not so great. Mm -hmm. Just put that one to bed. Eggshells really, as a barrier product, don't work brilliantly. Crushed eggshells. Mm -hmm. The theory is that it's too rough for them to get okay, over. Yeah. In my experience, it's not so brilliant. It's not really... No, great to use in the compost bin yeah, because they add calcium yeah, to the yeah, soil, yeah, the definitely. But not, not, not mm -hmm. for slugs and snails. What, what is this then? That lovely looking thing is this, right? Yeah. So this is wool pellets, okay? These, rather, are wool pellets. Totally natural, totally biodegradable mm -hmm. and organic product. That's what they look like. Mm -hmm. Now, again, it's not a killer, but what you do, and as the fella says, that's mm -hmm. one I made earlier, yeah. you scatter them in a, in a, let's say, in a circle around your plants. Mm -hmm. You wet them like I did there, yeah. and it forms this kind of surface that's which the, the slug can't get they over. They can't get over that. They can't get they over. Can't get over. And as that breaks down, that's giving nutrients back to the soil. It's creating humus. Mm -hmm. And it's all about, as I say, working with nature yeah. and working with what, the natural What balance. about putting salt out? Salt will kill the slugs, certainly, mm -hmm. but I wouldn't be putting salt in the garden because Why salt not? will damage your plants. Okay, so you don't salt want to do that. Salt will dry out the plant roots, so you because don't I, want to do that. Do you remember years ago, and I, I remember older people doing this, putting uh, seaweed on spuds and so on yes, and so forth. Yes, absolutely. That would happens. have been to get rid of the, of the slugs, I'd imagine. It no, have... actually, well, it will have, a, it, yeah. as it dries out, it will have that mm -hmm. effect, yeah. But no, seaweed is brilliant from, from the nutrient point okay. of view, nutrient the soil structure. Oh, absolutely. Oh, okay. it's ver, ver, nothing better you can add mm -hmm. to it. These are little slug traps, so what they work on is you fill that bit there with beer. Okay. Beer. Yeah. So you dig a small Real hole. Real beer. Real beer. You might have every undesirable <laughs> in the neighbourhood coming to you as well, as well as the slugs. So your soil level comes up to here. Mm -hmm. So you bury that much of it in the soil. You fill this little reservoir here with beer. The slug comes in. He's attracted to the alcohol. He comes in. He drowns. Drowns. Dies a happy death. I've no doubt. Mm -hmm. 
but this cover means he's unavailable to the birds and to the predators. Okay, now you, oh, okay. you could also make one yourself if you're wondering what that is. Yeah. You're old enough to, to remember Mary's Make and Do. We have Mary anything for sure. It does on Mary come in? Yeah, uh, maybe a few times a year. But Mary's it, make believe me, people love it. This is Mary's Make and Do. Um, <laughs> an old coffee cup, mm -hmm. compostable coffee cup, same as your slug trap. Just cut a couple of holes in it. Okay, I'm going to bring the soil up to here. Mm -hmm. The slug will go in here, be attracted to the beer. I'll put the lid in it, mm -hmm. right? Again, compostable, like most coffee shops are nowadays, yeah, thankfully. thankfully. So the slug will go in here, up over the soil in there. He'll, he'll drown in the beer down here. I simply take that out, throw them out. And that's Gone. it, yeah. done and dusted. Now you can also do, which is what I do, I, I, I find myself a bit like Victor Meldrew when I'm out at night with a cup of tea. I don't believe it. <laughs> I'm picking the slugs, I'm oh. picking the slugs. But the thing is, it's not good enough to throw them over my neighbor's wall. Yeah. If you're watching neighbor, I don't do that, right? But, because they'll come back up to two miles. They'll they can come back, back up, up to, to two, two miles. miles. So you need to take them. I, I just dumped them in a ditch. That's unreal. Them over two unreal. miles away, yeah. Now, I was looking at this and I was asking, okay, what, what is this band around there? Is that kind of some kind of decoration or something? No, what is it, Peter? That's copper. It's copper tape. So it's, it's sticky, obviously, Real on copper. one side. It is, yeah. It's copper tape. So if you're growing something in a pot, it's not practical outdoors yeah. unless in a, in a contained area, mm -hmm. like that pot or the pot in front of you, or even on a raised bed, mm -hmm. if you're growing stuff, you put that copper around it. And what happens is the slug can't get over it, right? Can't slide up over it. No, he gets a little, you know, that little mucusy stuff that comes yeah, yeah, off yeah, yeah, yeah. it. It reacts with the copper and they get a little mini electric shock, all right? So they can't get over it. But this then goes back to, to restoring the natural balance because yeah. now you're leaving, you're not killing them. Yeah. So these barrier products ensure that you have a healthy supply so mm -hmm. the predators will come back. Mm -hmm. So your birds and your hedgehogs have enough mm -hmm. of what they need and you're getting very yeah. little or no plant damage. And it's back to working yeah. with nature. What about, what about bringing hedgehogs into the garden? That's one yeah. thing I hope to do maybe next month now, uh, Peter. I think in rural situations, that's perfect. The reason I say that, it would be perfect too in an urban situation, but you tend not to see them in urban situations. Mm -hmm. If you can encourage hedgehogs in by hedgehog houses, uh, you don't even have to go to the expense or the trouble of getting a hedgehog house. If, if you have a large enough garden, well, be careful during the winter not to, not to have it too manicured, too yeah. pristine. If you leave a wood pile or hedge clippings, yeah. hedgehogs will hibernate. They'll, that. That. That, yeah, they'll hibernate. Yeah. And you can clean yeah. it up in the, in the spring and the hedgehogs then will take care of your, yeah. your slugs and snails. Peter, I haven't caught my garden yet and I think the last time you were in I was telling you that I didn't get the last cut in in September stroke October because the weather was too bad. Yes. Now the, weather, or the, the, the grass is high enough now and I want to cut it. Yeah. Now I don't think I'll be able to do it this weekend with the weather but do I need to go through the grass to make sure that there's nothing kind of being burrowed in there during the winter months or anything? Not really, no. What, what, what you would expect to, to nest in long grass would be things like the solitary bees, mm -hmm. okay? I wouldn't be too worried about it, damaging them with the, the, the mm -hmm. lawnmower. You won't, because they'll be down in the soil. No, I think you'll be safe enough, but I would get cutting because uh, yeah, it's know. going to get too long to cut otherwise. And uh, I have fruit trees. What should I be doing with them now? You're, you're just coming into what we call the period of bud burst, which is this, like we were saying, this magical time when all the growth comes back up from the soil, the magical energy, below starts coming out through the leaves uh, and so they're just coming back into that so it's a good time with fruit trees I think to treat them with something called copper sulfate which is mm -hmm. a good broad spectrum organic fungicide mm -hmm. to stop them getting any fungal infections okay. like scab things yeah, like that. That. that happened to me last year. Yes. Anyway, Peter thank you You're very, very much. Very All, always great to chat to you. If you have any questions for Peter do email us today at rte.ie.